So could we explain the new posture, uh, actually, of France in Africa? Basically, it's an emergency. Uh, for many years, uh, since the end of the Cold War, we have progressively shifted to an indirect strategy. Support to African uh, peace building, uh, and so on and so forth. But due to the evolution of threats, especially uh, radical Islamism, and uh, the impossibility for the African Union to cope alone with such a little threat, especially for uh, local governments such as Mali, Niger, and so on and so forth, we had to shift very quickly to a direct strategy for coping directly with these, uh, the aggressors. So that's the first issue. The second is we have been called upon by the governments to help them and to assist them to deal with the threats. So uh, we have for that to completely change our uh, military disposition in, in Africa because we were on the verge to leave. Uh, we reduced drastically our uh, footprint in Africa. We have um, moved some assets to the Gulf. Of course, after uh, the Mali intervention and Sangaris intervention, it became clear for everybody that uh, we were alone to be able to do the job. Of course, backed by the Americans, backed by local forces, but basically without us, no other possibility to cope with the threats. Uh, the way we conceive operations is changing. However, uh, we have to cope with paramilitary organizations, so we have to keep a kind of conventional uh, set of conventional capabilities to be sure to overwhelm them and to prevail finally. Uh, of course, we have to combine that with special forces, uh, with ISR and uh, firepower coming from, uh, from the air. That's why we are completely uh, uh, reinstalling a set of bases with different poles, uh, ISR poles, uh, head command and control and air power poles, forward bases, um, and so on and so forth. At least six different poles in uh, Central and uh, Sub-Saharan Africa just to um, position the new military disposition for the next, uh, the next month, the next years. You know, there is a very deep movement today in Africa. Uh, what we are witnessing is the collapse of uh, the colonial system based in Berlin Agreement in 1885, surviving uh, through the two world wars, the Cold War and uh, the decolonization uh, era. But today, okay, so Africa is again uh, in history, its own history, and things are accelerating very quickly.